Hello Habari, when you were to here and right now I'm in Maasai Mara. So this is my first time being here just in time for the world of best migration which happens just once every year. So that's going to be super exciting. Two million wildebeest crossing the Mara River from Tanzania into Kenya. So that's going to be quite, quite the spectacle. We came here by road. This is my first time actually coming to the Maasai Mara by road. So we drove from Nairobi to Sekinani Gate, made just a quick stop for lunch at Olari restaurant and it has a gift shop right next door. So the entire trip was like five hours and the roads are pretty smooth so that's really shortened the journey. Right now we're just going to check out the migration and we'll see some wildlife along the way. So let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was that? Like, what? <laughs> these things are not very smart, are they? Every group has got a leader, uh -huh. and when the leader turns, they mm -hmm. move the your move. What are you doing? So, right now, we're standing on a bridge on the Mara River. Up there on the other side. They have a very distinct sound as well. It's like <laughs> sometimes there's up to two million wildebeest crossing. But the two million is like a combination of wildebeest and antelopes like topies, some of the zebras as well. How we're just patiently waiting to see them cross. There are so many cars as well. So many people have come to the Mara for the crossing this year. But what's that? Why are they chasing away Come the on. big wildebeest? Like... Come on! Where is the etiquette? Maybe the cars wanted to cross instead of the wildebeest. Oh, this is very unfair, honestly. Also, where is the etiquette? Like, other guys are on this side trying to view the scene. These are probably like 300 cars even. <laughs> so many people. But hey. Everyone wants to see the migration. Although like there's so many cars, kind of ruined it a bit for me. But it would be so nice to kind of just be back here when there are not so many like tourists. And to think that this is a natural phenomenon. So they come from that side, cross over the river, and then they come this way. So these are the ones that just crossed. Hi, my name is Jasmine, and I just missed the migration. It was an awesome experience. My name is Bobby Kaberi and this is my family, the Kaberas family. Uh, we drove from Nairobi yesterday to come and see the migration, uh, the wildebeest migration. Mainly, basically, um, it's, it's supposed to be a three animal migration, but today we only saw the wildebeest crossing the river. Uh, it's thousands of them and we, we're excited that we witnessed the eighth wonder of the world right in front of our eyes. Masai Mara day two we're going to check out the migration again we've come to the Mara River so you can see behind me there's like a bunch of vultures back there it stinks a bit like if you see vultures there's a likelihood that there are dead animals around they've been feasting on some carcass that's just rotting around here somewhere uh, oh and there are hippos in the water as well. oh man that's so if you look back there, they're dead wildebeest. So that's why they were kind of taking their time. Uh, like they were being very measured in crossing, right? Because then they die. 
and that's where they end up so like during the crossing it's food for everyone like the vultures are happy the hunters like the lions are also happy because food is plentiful a hippo has come onto the bridge and someone is still there dang look at that bro that thing that thing moves at 40 kilometers per hour you cannot run yeah Okay, kwa hivyo si tuko mbele kwa mkono eh. Second hand. And then to 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 bring you. Hapana, hapana. Mama kongo anafanya hivyo. Mbali. Sio. Ndio 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 <laughs> yeah, it's gonna blow over this guy. So day two, we've been waiting for like two hours, but finally the wildebeest are crossing. So it's a thing that really takes patience. Like you have to just be chilled and wait for them because they'll send one down to come and scout and see what's happening. Um, like it will come and smell the water and drink a bit and then first two start crossing like the uh, leader and his deputy and then the others follow suit so now that they've started crossing cars are coming closer to just be able to see this better but day two has been a success as well. we're gonna give up at some point but it has happened